Hey guys, in this video, I am currently up in Timmouth, and tonight I am shooting with my brand new Sony A7 IV, partnered up with the 135 f1.8 from Samyang. This is again another little loan lens from Holden, so thank you very much for that. Now let's go see what we can shoot. Gonna obviously get a few practice shots in just to warm up a little bit. That is literally the first shot on the Sony a7 IV. Got my little Peak Design wrist cuff here. Once again, out shooting with Ed Jacobs Photography. Well Got his little POV on the go. Mandem, brap. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little stroll around, see what we can see. The moon's looking nice tonight. Yeah, I've got a shot of the moon. Got a shot of the moon. So this 135 is like lush for like punching in. Let's try and get a shot over there. Beautiful. Oh, there's a little, the person, not a little, the person that I took a photo of a minute ago was down in the bottom right hand corner of that picture. That looked nice. Definitely need a wider lens for this pier. So, let's go down to the water a little bit, see if we can get anything down here. Not gonna be too stupid, not gonna go too close because I'll be the one who gets sucked in the water. And obviously I need to send the lens back. So, we've got the pier there, right on the end of the pier. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. See if we can get a shot just there. Man, my ISO is high. Let's bring that down a little bit. Let's go for that one again. It looks nice, looks nice and clean. Try and get a shot here, we've got the, the pillars like leading out to that bit in the middle. Just look behind me, I've got like a wall. Try and get him right in the middle. Picks up perfectly. Nice. Oh, this water is coming in. Oh, look at that! Look. Love it. Oh shit! I gotta go back down there. <laughs> Help! Trying to get the water just along when the waves come in. Oh, it looks nice there actually. It's a nice little shot. Nice. I'm not going to risk walking over. Let me just wait for that. Ah, oh, there's the leaves. Let me just. All right, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Ah! <laughs> so yeah, that was a nice little shot underneath the. Underneath the pier, there. I'm gonna get another one here. Got this little bit of foreground. This is the stay there. So, this is the wall that obviously stops the water from crashing up over the top. So, I'm just gonna use that, try and get the underneath. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. We got a little bit of the uh, wave crashing up there as well. Back up top. So there's a couple just walking by there. Snap them real quick. Get the bird in the sky, can we? Get him just flying out. Right in the distance. Jogger running by. That's all right. It's getting dark quickly. So yeah, guys, this is the Samyang 135 f1.8. It's an absolute beast of a lens. We were originally tonight meant to be shooting with a model 
However, she did have to cancel it last minute, so we're going to rearrange that shoot. So we thought we'd just come up here and, uh, yeah, shoot a POV instead. So get one of this guy here, just on his bike, just chilling. That's a nice shot. A couple of tents pitched up. Oh, I can smell like chimney. I like it. So if we walk down here, we're going to go right down and there's a train track. It'd be lush if a train comes through when we want it to. Don't know if it will though. So I'm going to go back down towards the beach. See if we can get a shot down here or something. Oh God. Oh, it's very like wet sand. A couple of people just there chilling. Got their dogs. Get one in landscape, get one in portrait. Nice. Nice shot. Oh, those waves. So, Ed's coming over this way. I'm also going to come over this way. Try and get another shot of that. Pillars leading down. Let's get it up here. wait for Ed to mind out the way a minute. Just gonna bring it up a little bit. I need to be a little bit more centered. There it goes. Oh my angle isn't right. Where's my angle? Kind of. Don't look too bad. Yo, peace up, A town down. Edward getting a shot at me. Clean it off, clean it off. Banging. So Ed shooting on the 24 to 70, f2.8 from Sam Yang. How are you finding it? Like it. Like it? Compared to a prime? More range. Walk down here, there's a guy just walking up, about to go past the. Oh, is it gonna get him? There we go, got a little shot of him. Can we get back up here? Or should we walk back up that way? Sorry. Can we get back up? I don't know, blue, mate. Should we just go that way then? Keeps what? Ah, oh, whoa, <laughs> nearly fucking fell in my grave. Oh, doggy. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> so, I'm going to use this little ice cream building with the moon in the background and see if we can uh, get a bit of a shot. Will it focus on the moon or will it focus on that? Let's get the moon. There's the moon. No, don't switch. Quite a good shot of the moon, actually. Dogs running through. Want to go along the seafront or about there? Yeah. Ah, oh, there's a nice one of the church top there. Look at that all punched in. That's lush. We can get the top of the tower, there we go. Nice. Get one for Ed. For his Facebook profile picture, boom! <laughs> so yeah, just up here, I believe, is where the train track is. I don't know if the trains are still running now, but... Go over and have a look. There's a lot of people out running this evening. Get a shot of him in the distance. 
There you go, lights shining on the back of him from the street light. I do like this 135, I like how like punched in and compressed it is. We're gonna get tripped up by a dog lead. So yeah, I do like how like compressed it gets your photos. Obviously I normally shoot the 85. Got another shot there. There we go, so I'm shooting at f1.8. Currently 1 over 60, ISO 3200. I'm gonna let Ed get a shot. Get him from the back. It's a nice shot. Another runner right along the outside. Oh, you know what I can do? I can flip you out my screen now, like I said. Nice. Yes, flip you out screen. That is what I missed on the A7 III. Missed that little um, flip you out screen. I first started shooting with Canon and they, I think it was like the Canon 2000D or the 4000D and that had a flippy out screen. It might be like a 250D, something like that. I can't remember, it was a few years back. <sighs> but yeah, I had the flippy out screen. And then I got the A7 III and it never had the flippy out screen. And now I've got this bad boy, which has the flippy out screen, which is absolutely lush. So you can't see up over this wall, but yes, you can. Like, if I go like that, you can. So we got a shot just shooting down the track. And I'll bring up the what we at. Let's go to 3.2. It's quite nice and dark. It's a nice shot. Beautiful. So we can't actually see if there's any trains coming yet. Oh, that shot. So we can see the moon up over there. I'm gonna. Tapped it. Oh, look at that. Oh, so there you go. It's picked up the moon up over the bridge. Lovely. See that? You can see like the actual circle of the rest of the moon. Oh, there's people walking over that already. Let's get that one again. Wait until they walk by. Let's just get that one there. And I'm going to wait until they walk a little bit further in. Nice. Train? Ah, oh, there's a train there. Here we go, guys. Ah, oh, that was shit. <laughs> that was shit. That's a nice little shot of the bridge. Have it right in the middle there. Nice, and then bring a little bit darker. Nice with a little steeple in the back. There's the train there. Then you get a little bit of a reflection. Oh god, look. Just fucking triggering it off. Kneel down on the sand. Don't know why I'm doing that, look. I uh, like. I need different gloves, these are killing me, man. So, focus in the distance. No, it's just picking up that. Trying to get a little bit closer to the puddle. Oh, that's not bad. I wanted to pick up that there. Come on, you bastard. It's not picking up either. I'm looking for touchscreen mics with these gloves.
Oh, she snorted like a pig. Did you get it? Got that one. It's probably oh, yeah, yeah. Might be a half a room. That one's better. Yeah, nice. Well, should we go like back up onto the main road after? Yeah. Thank you, mate. Oh, oh mate. mate. Yeah, mate. You know what? Let's get shot of the A74 on an A7 wall. You know what, actually? Ah, oh, fuck off. That's the thing with a strap. <laughs> we get a shot on his, of mine, and that might just be my thumbnail, you know? Oh, God, he's on the... Oh, change his settings. This goes to there. Put it on. Hey, that's a uh, seventy. Most things are shot on it, isn't it? Isn't it? Swords of test out of the 2470. <laughs> I'm looking for a YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, guys, we've got a shot coming up here. There's a guy just down in the distance, just opposite the end of the wall, just jogging towards, get a shot there, get another one as he comes through. go okay guys that's the end of my POV I was shooting with the Sony a7 IV and the Samyang 135 mm f1.8 if you did like this video please do hit like hit subscribe notification bell for any future uploads come over and follow me on Instagram it's at 2020 vision right there on the screen me and Ed did take a little walk around the town um, it wasn't too busy in there we did get a few shots I'll pop them up on the screen for you to have a little look at now, just a few of the ones that we did get. So there's those ones there. So yeah guys, let me know what you think down in the comments about this lens. Do you like the shots? Can you tell the difference from the a7 IV on the 33 megapixel compared to the Sony a7 III 24 megapixel? Let me know what you think. Where should I go and shoot next? Come and join me on Instagram. I will put a poll up and you can tell me where to shoot. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.